American hip hop artists. Um, think of um, Napoleon, who was part of Tupac's crew, right? Mm -hmm. Who would actually abandon religion, would abandon music because of a new conversion. Right? Mm -hmm. So the music can take you in, 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 in any particular direction, right? Mm -hmm. And just in terms of, um, you know, I think often of the movements that Malcolm inspired and the counter movements that he inspired, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So he would inspire the Black Power movement. We don't often talk about he also inspired black liberation theology. Right. His critiques of Christianity would cause a faith, a, faith of, a crisis of faith in, um, in James Cone. That's right. It would cause James Cone to write in her book on, on liberation and so on. Malcolm, Malcolm would prompt all kinds of ferment within the Islamic world as well. Right. Um, Marable says today Malcolm is really a bridge. Uh, if anything, today he's a bridge between the West and the Islamic world. Well, what kind of bridge we can debate? But the, the, the debates taking place in Africa, the Middle East, and mm. South Asia about Malcolm, mm. right? About his what were what kind of cultural influences he absorbed, religious influences. Mm -hmm. Marable in the book says Malcolm may have been inspired by Shiism, mm -hmm. but that yeah. sentence mm -hmm. cost it fewer or it's unleashed an entire field of debate now, right? A field of study, right? Um, and a lot of it, again, is through music, hence the contradiction. It's the music that disseminates and sparks these debates.